Hello, teacher Jackie here for a video about props, props in a pinch. Let's say you have class, you can't get out, or you don't have the money yet, or something's going on, and you really need to get props. Well, first we want props that are, you know, easy to touch and see and experience, uh, whatever you have. But sometimes we don't have props. Some of us don't have children with a lot of toys laying around or uh, other things or adults, if you will. Um, so we need to do what we call 2D props like paper. We just print it out, put it on a stick if we can. It's a popsicle stick. I have um, more here. I even have a star on a, I had put two sticks together to make it a little thicker, okay? So what do we do? How can we do this? And how can we do it well? And how can we do it, you know, so it's not any kind of copyright infringement? So I want to share with you what I do. Let me grab my screen and here we go. So go to Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com, not Canvas. That's a different software web application. So this is Canva. Okay. And the best way that I have done it is you go to like an Instagram post, a square post um, size. It's, it's, you can just go ahead and grab a blank one. Okay. If you've never used this, it's a very simple program I'm going to show you. Now, if you want, you can change the title up here to props because when you download it, it'll just give it that generic name. Enter. So go over here to elements. I have a class about roads and signs. So I'm gonna say road over here. And it's gonna give me, now the ones with the crown are um, copyright or you need to pop, buy them, purchase them. So the ones, these other ones say free. <clears throat> so we can get a picture if we want for a road and make it as big as we can, okay? And if we want something like that, like a big picture. Let's say we add a page and let's say I want to use a more of a clip art looking one. So here's a clip art one. I'm going to click and drag, click and drag and make it up here. Okay. So let's say I like both of them. Well, when you click download, if I download both, I'm on a PC, it's going to actually compress them into a zip file. So the best thing is to just pick one, say done and download. And it will download. There we go. So over here you can see. And it's gonna give you like an ad. Once you always want you to get the premium. And then I'm gonna download the other one. Click it off and then click that one, say done and download. So on my computer, I can go print the, um, it's in my download folder, by the way. So if you don't know how to do that on a PC, there's a folder icon and you can go there and then go to downloads and then print. I actually just usually right click on the file, go to print, and then I click on the little checkbox. It says fit it into the paper area. And you can choose the size, eight by 10. I usually do half page. Half page is sufficient. I don't have anything right here in front of me, but that's about uh, good. So I would print both of these on one page, saving paper and hopefully saving some ink. But this I hope is a good idea. I have also, let's try then, let's try something else. I need to say left. Let's see, you have a left arrow. Yay, we do. But I like one to be like a curve. There we go, like something more like this. So I can click on this. Then it gives me more examples, okay? These are ones, this one's free, but these I have to buy. Now, the good thing about this, if you see really quick, up here is a black box. I click on it and I can change the color. Well, I have a picture on the page. It will give me colors related to that picture if I need to match anything. I could choose that brown, I could choose, see this? There we go. We even can flip it. Let's say if I wanna go that way, <laughs> we can go vertical. We can do so many fun things with that. Wanted to show you that. Let's do another page. Let's look and see what else we have. I like this one. And again, it will show you other versions and I can change the color. Okay, same thing. Download and pick it out. I hope this was helpful to you. I know it's helpful to me when I'm in a pinch and I need some props really quick. I recently did a house, I did a TV. I have done, um, wow, I don't know, you name it. When we just need a quick prop, 
of some picture or icon to help with our classes. All right. I hope this was a great teacher tip for you. And I will be doing more. So let me know what else you need ideas or help with. I'll be happy to share. Bye-bye.